Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is my sincere pleasure to participate at the high-level dialogue on energy to promote Sustainable Development Goal 7 for a swift achievement of affordable, reliable, sustainable, and modern energy for all until 2030. This is a central goal of my administration. We are determined to protect the environment and tackle the phenomenon of climate change by ensuring the use of clean energy by even more people. Greece's climate change strategy has several key elements. First, on decarbonization and our rapid move away from lignite, we started the process with the aim of complete liberation from lignite by 2028. And we have funded this effort with about 5 billion euros to support the transition for lignite areas. In fact, now our main target is to phase out all lignite power plants by 2025, three years earlier than we had anticipated. Second, on rethinking and planning Greece's energy system, our long-term objective is obviously to reach climate neutrality by 2050. And there is no doubt our main means to achieve this goal are renewable energy sources and energy efficiency. To positively transform our energy mix, we're focused heavily on further deploying renewable energy and are planning to double our wind and solar PV installed capacity by 2030. We're also developing a comprehensive roadmap to introduce a hydrogen economy in Greece. And in parallel, we have placed our focus on energy efficiency and energy renovation of buildings. Third, on electromobility, we're not only adopting relevant legislation, but with the program I Move Electrically, we're significantly subsidizing electric vehicles at a rate of about 20% to 40%. Finally, for insular regions, we have different policies based on the size and unique characteristics of every island. For bigger islands, we're implementing a medium-term investment program of new electricity interconnection lines to make use of the renewable energy potential and to promote their energy security. For the smaller, non-interconnected islands, we're implementing tailor-made solutions to reduce our environmental footprint or even to implement integrated solutions to put in place 100% carbon-free energy systems. The Mediterranean is one of the most vulnerable regions to the impacts of global warming, in turn, exacerbating other environmental pressures. The devastating forest fires that Greece experienced this August is a proof of this bitter truth. At the meeting of the UMED summit held last week in Athens, we accelerated our efforts towards the protection of the Mediterranean marine environment and our forests, and the transition to a low carbon, resource efficient and circular economy for our nations. Clean energy for all cannot be achieved by anyone acting alone. It is imperative that we all work together in this collective endeavor for building a sustainable future. Thank you.